Hey guys, so I tried making this video breaking down the Eagles and the Bucks standpoint, but I found myself not being able to do so because I just don't like the Bucks at all, and I really do enjoy the Eagles. So if you're new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe. You guys have been showing me mad love, the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm rooting for you for the Super Bowl. I've come to the conclusion that the team that supports me, I'm going to root for them in the playoffs because my team didn't make it, of course. That would be the Indianapolis Colts. And yes, I've heard everything that there is to say about Wentz, and no matter what you comment, I've heard it before, trust me. Let's get into the video though. So the second half of the video, I'm actually going to talk about why I think the Eagles are going to win. But for the first half, I want to do like a more professional type of breakdown. So let's let's do that right now. Okay. So the, the first thing is, how do you slow down Tom Brady in this offense? Personally, they don't have Chris Godwin and Antonio Brown. And Leonard Fournette, he's, even if he's playing in this game, I didn't see him in the injury report, but let's just say he is. He's, he was placed on IR, so he's going to be rusty. He is a vet, 20, what, 26 years old. Wasn't he in the draft class with like Camara and those guys, uh, CMC yeah, potentially? I'm not sure. I think he's he's like I think he was. But the bottom line is, even if Fournette is out there, he's not going to be 100. percent Ronald Jones also didn't practice with an ankle injury. So how do you slow down the the Bucks offense? Is you get the Brady? It's simple. If you can put pressure on Tom Brady, he's not going to be that great. No matter what quarterback you are in the NFL, when you're seeing pressure, you're going to be worse. Brady's already without his top uh, two weapons. He's Mike Evans is out there, but I mean, Antonio Brown and Chris Godwin are, are for all, all pro type of receivers, of course. Mike Evans is more, more like a red zone type of guy. Brady's going to look for him down there, but I mean, he's not he's not going to see like 10 plus targets. He might, but I mean, is he going to... It's just weird. It's like Mike Evans is... He's a good, really good receiver, but... I'm not concerned about him if I were the Eagles. Like you've got, I'm not to mention Darius Slay is one of the best shadow corners in football. So that's stopping Tom Brady is, yeah, sure, that's the number one important thing, but it's not like it's impossible. I think it's, I think that personally is going to happen. But and the Bucks, they have done a good job keeping Brady clean and up, upright, of course, through the past two seasons. I mean, he's been sacked just 22 times on 719 pass attempts. That's of course the best in the league. But we've seen when defenses are able to get to him and get to him often, Brady is unable to sync up with his receivers as often as he'd like. And those throws, they turn into interceptions. We've seen it countless times with the Saints, and in the first half of Week 18 against the Panthers, you can go back to the Rams even in Week 3. When Brady is rattled, the timing of his throws is well thrown off. See, that's the thing. is Can the Eagles get to Tom Brady? The answer is yes. They have a couple of guys like Fletcher Cox and... Uh, Josh Sweat, for example. Watch out for those guys. Keep an eye on them, man. They're going to be crucial in this game. So the Bucks, they entered the first Eagles game with the league's top run defense. Since then, it seems to have fallen off. It's tied for 13th in opponent's yard per carry. Well, what extent are the Bucks vulnerable against the run in mobile quarterbacks? Do you think they'll be looking to sell out to stop the run and put the game on Jalen Hurts' throwing ability? See, this is something that I, I talked about in the later half of the video that you guys are going to see. And I personally don't see Hurts having to throw much in this game. When you have a running back as talented as Miles Sanders, you've got to feed him the ball. Especially if you're on a third and third and five or like a third and four, third and three. Just give Sanders the ball, let him pick up potentially a first down. And if he comes up short, then you go for it. I think the Eagles are probably going to go for a ton in this game. You're going to have to put up points against the Bucks. You want to keep this low scoring, but you also have to realize that Every time you give the ball back to Brady, there's a, there's a chance that he's going to get points up on the board. I mean, it's still Tom Brady. I mean, he's the greatest quarterback of all time. So, but yeah, asking Hurts to throw 40 times in this game, you're going to lose. If Hurts has to throw a ton, it's, there's no chance. So you got to get a run game going. You've got to force turnovers or at least put pressure on Brady. And I think the Eagles can do that. I really do believe in this team. I like the Eagles a lot. Their fans, especially, but also the team itself. The whole season coming in, I was looking at the roster and I'm like, this is a pretty good team. Like, there's not many weaknesses on it. The offensive line is great. They've got a quarterback. They've got receivers. They're secondary. They've got Maddox. They've got Slay. Uh, of course, they've got a couple of safeties who, eh, they're like, you know, they're not in, you know, exactly the greatest. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at a, a guy. Who's their safety? So, like, Anthony Harris. Anthony Harris and um, Rodney McLeod. Yeah, they're, they're not, you know, they're not bad. Like, they're, they're, they're solid. They're solid enough to, like, where I, I think they can have an impact in this game. So, and I, I don't know everything about them, but... I feel pretty good about it. Uh, third, so we want to talk about some matchups here. So 
So what what matchup here concerns the Bucks the most, guys? Like what player on the Eagles offense is is going to cause the most concern for the the Bucks defense? I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to think about it. There's no wrong answer, but I'm looking for a specific one. All right, so if you said Jalen Hurts, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So the Bucks they really struggle against scrambling quarterbacks, and I expect the Eagles to come in here with the skies plays that are going to ultimately turn into runs for Hurts because. <laughs> what hurts no pun intended what hurts the Bucks defense most when playing these styles of quarterbacks is when they delay after the snap to confuse the second level of Buccaneers defense see like I don't know everything about football like that so that's why I'm glad I'm reading this article so if the, the and Sirianni he's called he's called pretty is he called the plays let me know I actually don't know if he calls the plays I think I think he does I'm not entirely sure about that but let's just say like whoever the Eagles offensive coordinator if he can mix in these disguised plays for Hurts which is just going to cause even more of a struggle for the Bucks secondary. See, there's things like that. Like the, the Bucks are not going to make Hurts just simply have to throw because they're going to have to come up. They're going to have to, I mean, they could stack the box, but I mean, do you want like Smith and Watkins and Rager in man coverage with the Bucks secondary that hasn't been good to begin with? I don't know, man. I'm not entirely sure about that, but my most viewed videos for football have been the Eagles. So I figured that I might as well make more. And also I, I certainly want the Eagles to win the Super Bowl. I never thought I'd say that because I'm a Colts fan. I've, I've always liked the Eagles because they have Jalen Hurts, and Miles Sanders is one of my favorite players. He's a guy that I drafted in fantasy in a $300 league I paid to get in, and obviously they weren't giving him touches. If you were watching the Eagles games, you would know that the Eagles just simply were not giving the right amount of touches to Miles Sanders, and when they did, he always performed. I mean, there was even a game against the Bucks where he was pretty solid in that. So now the Eagles are facing the best run defense in football, but also the Bucs are susceptible to pass. And Jalen Hurts, we've seen the improvement in his passing ability. I don't think he's going to be able to go out there and throw for over 30 times and a couple touchdowns, have 300 yards. That's just not who Hurts is, even though he's improved as a passer the past year. Over 10% completion. Obviously, Pro Football Focus had him as a top 10 quarterback. He was really efficient this season, and he's only improving. That's why Jalen Hurts is one of my favorite players in this league, because he truly is improving at... A, a, a crazy rate and if he can continues to do this every single season we could be looking at a potential russell wilson type of player i don't think a lot of people understand that because russ when he was hurt his age was the same way he was all just about running and then he would of course he could throw the ball but his is basically you know kind of like one read and then maybe just take off like somewhat of like a college quarterback so i think they have a lot of similarities it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out but in this game we could truly see Hurts take that next step and lead his Eagles on the road against a tough Tampa Bay defense. It seems kind of crazy to think that the Eagles can win this game. I don't think anyone would pick the Eagles to win this game that isn't an Eagles fan. They're coming in at a plus nine, nine and a half. Now, in comparison, if you look at the 49ers, they're a plus three against the Cowboys. The Cardinals are a plus four against the Rams. The Steelers are a plus 12 and a half. So besides that, the Eagles are at nine and a half, so no one is picking them to win this game. So if you want to throw down some money on the Eagles, maybe if you have the money, you could throw down 50 bucks on the Eagles and you could walk away with a, I don't know how much that would be, but it would be a lot of money. It's something to consider, man. I don't know why people don't really put the proper respect on the Eagles. They have the best run game in football. They have a dual threat quarterback. They have a defense that can get stops. They can get to the quarterback. They've got a really good secondary. They've got one of the best shadow corners in football in Darius Slay. And Tom Brady is without Antonio Brown, who, despite what you want to say about his act on the field, or I, I guess, yeah, well, yeah, act on the field because he's one of the best wide receivers still in this league. I mean, he's easily the most talented wide receiver on that team. He just can't get his act together. The bottom line is Brady was working with AB. He had him stay at his house to win more Super Bowls. And now he's without AB. He's without Chris Godwin. Mike Evans was a full part, uh, participant in practice, so he's going to be out there. Shaq Barrett was limited. Tom Brady obviously did not practice due to rest, though. He's going to be playing. And then there's a couple of other players that you guys will know, like Ryan Jensen, who was one of the best centers in football. He was limited. Ronald Jones didn't participate with an ankle. But they, they should have... My question is, is Leonard Fournette back? I haven't heard anything. I don't know. I don't know if Leonard Fournette's playing... Let me know down in the comments, guys, if he's if he's was activated off of IR, I guess. But for the Eagles, uh, which is an Eagles video, looks like Miles Sanders was limited. He's, he certainly is expected to play. Uh, Sweat, Josh Sweat, another guy that I like coming off the edge for Eagles. He didn't participate, but 
Greg Ward is kind of he's I don't know but he's, he's kind of deep in the depth chart. Greg Ward actually last season was pretty solid. But I mean now they they have Devontae Smith, so we haven't really seen a lot of Greg Ward this season, of course. But uh, Fletcher Cox, Landon Dickerson were full participants. So Lane, uh, Lane Johnson, another amazing tackle in this league, was limited. So and of course Jason Kelsey, the whole, whole offensive line was was out there. So it's the Eagles. It's gonna come down to the run, bro. It, like in my opinion, at least I don't know, but. From what I see from the Eagles, if they can get a run game going, it's just going to make it so much better for Hurts because the Bucs already can't stop the pass. So if they have to start stacking the box for Miles Sanders, who potentially could go off in this game, I mean, it's it's not that far-fetched. I mean, Miles Sanders is one of the more talented running backs in football. He's only he's young, too. He's about 24. So it's, a, it's just a really good fit next to Jalen Hurts, who's just a year younger than him. I think they can be a really good one-two punch down the line. And then, of course, the wide receivers like Devontae Smith won the Heisman last year at college. He's insane. You've got Quez Watkins, who is one of the faster receivers in football. And then, of course, you can't forget about Jalen Rager, who was taken, yes, before Justin Jefferson. But he's still a talented receiver. Hurts, he, his completion percentage went up by 10 last season. He's become a better passer, but we still haven't. he's still not a good passer. I don't, know. I don't think any even Eagles fans would tell you he's like, a, I mean, good, I guess good, but he's not He's not an elite level passer yet. So we're just seeing the beginning of this Eagles team. Even if they do lose this game, I mean, they have three first round picks, a young quarterback. They've got a coach, Nick Sirianni, who was able to turn it around. I mean, last season, the Eagles were trash. And then it wasn't just Sirianni, it was also Hurts too. And they came in and they completely turned this around. I mean, guys, they, they made the playoffs. They won, how many games did the Eagles finish? Not wins, nine, was it nine? They finished with nine wins. I like what I'm seeing out of the Eagles, and even, like, like I said, man, this is a big game against the Bucs. I mean, this is the team that won the Super Bowl last season. But if they can go out there and and play a good football game, keep it close, have give yourself a chance to succeed, they'll be fine. We know that the Bucs are not going to establish a run game. I mean, even if Leonard Fournette plays, the Eagles, they have the front to be able to contain that, which means that Brady's going to have to throw a lot. Which, again, is another issue because they don't have Antonio Brown and they don't have Chris Godwin. So, I mean, if you can just, you could probably double, well, maybe not double because Brady's, they got Garon too. But you, if you just direct your attention towards Mike Evans, but even Mike Evans, he does a lot of his work in the red zone too. So, I mean, Mike Evans isn't really a type of receiver that's going to see over 10 targets a game. He might, I don't know how many he saw in the season, but he's a really efficient player. When, he, when the ball is thrown to him, he's probably going to catch it, especially because Tom Brady's throwing it. But I just feel like the Bucs are not going to be able to put up that many points. And if they don't put up many points, that favors the Eagles. Because take a look at the Eagles' last couple of games. So we're not going to count the Cowboys. So the Eagles, they won 20-16. to They won 34-10. to They won 27-17, to 33-18. But they're 13-7. to But they're playing a lot of bad teams. So, I mean, when you're playing the Giants and the, the football team, I mean, and the Jets, you're going to put up points. But overall, the Eagles have had a lot of really one score close games and if this is a one score game i would heavily favor the eagles in this game because they've got the run game they've got the defense to make a stop and then jalen hurts to me is the type of player that could make a, a game-winning driver a game-winning throw or he could escape the pocket and break for a first down and like a fourth and four or something it's going to be really difficult for the bucks to stop the eagles and it's also going to be difficult for them to put up points, too, because they can't just go out there and just continuously throw on the Eagles. The Eagles have a good secondary. 